Hey everyone, it's Kelly. I'm back today with a new PicMonkey tutorial. Today I want to show you how I remove distracting objects from the background of my pictures. I like to stamp and add journaling to my photos for my project life and sometimes there's objects on the photos that make it a little tricky to do that. So here you can see that I already have edited my photos. I've brightened them, converted them to black and white and they've already in the collage where I'm gonna print them as two three by four photos, but there are some distracting objects on the background that if I choose to stamp on these pictures, it will make it difficult to see the stamped images. So to remove those objects from the photo, I'm gonna use the clone tool, which is under the edits tab in PicMonkey. So when I click on clone, it's gonna open up this new window where you can change the size of your, I'm gonna call it a brush, it's not really a brush, it's a circle that you'll use on your photo. But, and you can also change the hardness, which is the feathering of the circle that you're gonna use or the brush that you're gonna to use to erase the image on your photo. I like to reduce the hardness quite a bit. It just gives you a little bit more grace when you are erasing objects. It just gives a little bit more of a softness to the edges of the brush. So once you have those settings to your liking, you're gonna click set source and you're gonna get this dotted circle that will appear on the background. And that is the area that you're going to pick on your photo that you want to use to start erasing. So anywhere that that dotted circle is picked is what's gonna transfer on to the area that you're wanting to remove from your photo. So if I would have put that dotted circle on my son's face and then clicked over on that side of the wall, it would have put my son's face on the wall. You may have to set your source a couple different times and pick a new area on the photo. The clone tool will read what is underneath the area that you're erasing. So it will start to pick up a little bit of the, those were like glove boxes that were on the wall. We were at the doctor's office. So it'll start to pick up the original image once you get moved down so far. So just set your source again if you start to see some images that you're not happy with and just pick a different area on the photo. Now I wanna erase this phone from the wall as well. So I'm using the same technique where I am setting the source and I did minimize my circle or my brush a little bit because uh, the phone is a lot smaller than those glove boxes. So I didn't need that image to be quite so large. Now at this point, don't worry too much about the blotchiness on the photo. I know that it doesn't look smooth, but I'm gonna show you how to smooth that out in just a minute here once I finish getting this phone erased. Now you do want to pay attention to the shadows on the wall so sometimes i am picking from underneath the object and above the object just to try to match the color as close as i can as i am moving that brush up and down the photo once you have that to your liking you're going to go ahead and click that blue apply or save button i can't see exactly what it says on my editing screen here but you'll just click that button down there and it will save your image now to smooth that out, I am going to go to the touch up icon on the left. It's kind of the outline of a head and I'm gonna scroll down until I see highlights. I'm gonna click that rainbow circle at the top and then select the eyedropper and move over to the photo. And I wanna pick a pretty neut neutral color. I want it to match the area that I erased on the photo. And I am going to increase the size of that brush. And then I'm just gonna start dragging along the photo there. And it's gonna start to take out some of that blotchiness. And I have to do this a couple times just to get it smooth. So I'll go through, run that brush all over that area of the photo and I'll click apply. And then I'm just gonna repeat the same thing. So I'm gonna open up the highlights, click on the rainbow circle, select the eyedropper, move over to an area on the photo and start moving that brush around again. And that is just gonna help smooth this out. Now I know that I'm gonna be adding either text or stamping over that area on the photo, so I'm not worried about it being 100% perfect. It definitely looks a lot better than it did when I started. I am not a professional editor. I just do this for my own purposes for scrapbooking. So again, a professional would do it much, much better. But there I was showing you the before and after, so that way you can get an idea of what it looked like when I started and when I finished. 
Now, one thing that I do want to say is this does take some practice. So if you don't like how it turns out the very first time, don't get frustrated. That's the great thing about digital photography. You can just open the photo again and start over. So here is the photo that I used in the Project Live spread that I created. And you can see that I added some stamping over that image. And the stamping is much clearer with all of those objects removed from the background. So I am hoping to get a PicMonkey tutorial put up on my YouTube channel once a week. I'm going to see how that goes, how the response is to that. If this is something that you enjoyed or you found useful, please make sure to like the video or leave a comment. That is the only way that I know that these videos are helpful and something that you enjoy. So I will be back again soon with a new video, and I just want to thank you all so much for watching.